Your eyes are your body's most highly developed sensory organs. It is because 80% of what we perceive comes through our sense of sight. However, they are highly vulnerable to injuries and failure to protect your precious eyes can lead to potential permanent blindness. Thousands of builders are blinded every year, which could have been prevented if workers were able to wear appropriate protective eyewear. Now, how do eye injuries happen to builders? Most eye injuries come from forceful impacts from falling or flying objects such as debris, cement, dirt, fragments, etc. Injuries from these objects can result in scratches, corneal abrasions, blunt force trauma to the eyeball or eye socket of the builder. This is most common to tasks related to chipping, drilling, chiseling, grinding, masonry, sanding, sawing, woodworking, and riveting. Keep in mind that when an object is embedded in your eye, do not remove it. Instead, seek prompt medical attention. It is not easy to avoid dusty environments in the construction industry, especially in the projects that require woodworking, buffing, and digging. Dusty areas are prone to eye injuries and hazardous to builders who wear contact lenses. When dust contaminates your eyes, do not rub them. Instead, just blink several times and let your tears do the work. You could also flush your eyes with water while keeping your eyes open until the dust is eliminated. But in case the dust remains and still irritating, call 911 or other emergency services. Direct contact with chemicals in a form of splashes, fumes, and mists are most likely irreversible and could lead to partial blindness. Take note that when a chemical contaminates your eyes, immediately flush your eye with cold water for 30 minutes or until it stops hurting. Exposure to intense levels of heat in the workplace puts construction workers at risk of death, injury, disease, and decreased productivity. These heat injuries include but are not limited to burns, UV, light radiation, and splashes of molten metal or hot sparks. If your eyes are exposed to intense heat, flames, lasers, or radiation, you can apply ice packs to ease the pain. Knowing all these common eye hazards in the workplace, are you beginning to see how important proper eye safety is? Studies show that 90% of eye injuries could be prevented by wearing appropriate personal protective eyewear. Some of these include safety glasses, safety goggles, and face shields. Safety glasses have special frames, side shields, and lenses that meet the impact requirements necessary for adequate protection. The lenses of the safety glasses should be able to resist moderate impact from flying objects. In choosing what specific lenses safety glasses should have, consider the builders who will wear the particular eyewear. There are two kinds of lenses recommended by OSHA, the Plato and Prescription RX lenses. Plato lenses should be worn by builders who have clear vision, while prescription lenses are used by builders who require vision correction. The type of frames should also be taken into consideration. Safety glasses frames must fit comfortably to offer their necessary protection. The next thing you need in your checklist is the side shields. Side shields, according to OSHA, provide angular protection from impact hazards in addition to frontal protection. Like glasses, choosing the right lenses and frames must not take a back seat. Apart from the two, employers should take their time to consider also the ventilation options when selecting safety goggles. Few things to keep in mind, lenses should be clear and removable. Frames must properly fit the builder's face to form a protective seal around their eyes. Ventilated goggles allow air to circulate and at the same time protect users against airborne particles, dust, or light. But of course, it's not just all about the eyes. Although being fully equipped with safety glasses and goggles is a good start for safety compliance management, there is one more workplace safety for protecting a worker's eyes. Flying debris, 
chemical splashes, or sparks striking not only the eyes but the worker's face as well. And this is when the face shields come in. Face shields are considered secondary protection that provides wider coverage to protect a worker's face from various hazards. While there are many face shields in the market, not all are appropriate for use in a workplace like construction. Here's what to look for when choosing a face shield. Face shields should comply with the standards enumerated in the American National Standards Issue, ANSI, Z89.1-1968. The shield's window should also extend from the worker's brow to below the chin and cover the entire face. Eye and face injuries at the work are very common, especially in construction. They can happen when you least expect them. Whatever kind of protection eyewear you choose, always make sure that they meet the standards established by the American National Standards Institute and Occupational Safety and Health Administration. Always remember, it's better to be prepared before you lose your sight in the blink of an eye.